1957, the year the sculpture was produced, was an extraordinary year for Eduardo Villa. He was selected to represent South Africa at the Sao Paulo Biennale in Brazil, and additionally, his work was included in an exhibition of South African art that toured several cities in the USA and South Africa. The celebrated modernist architect Monty Sack recognized how Villa's bold sculptures would complement the built environment of the rapidly growing city of Johannesburg and consequently commissioned this impressive sculpture for the original Carlton Hotel complex. The sculpture was produced two years before his monumental Africa and, like Africa, it's a welded piece constructed from a series of intersecting flat and curved panes of steel. The same method was employed two years later in one of Villa's most important early works, Black Construction of 1959, which currently holds his auction record. Breaking away from the labor-intensive processes of conventional clay modeling and bronze casting, Villa was quick to see the potential of working directly with steel and the innovations it made possible. His vigorous use of this new material enabled the bold forms and spiky shapes with which he forged a new aesthetic, referencing both the stark African landscape and art from this continent. In addition, his use of welded metal associated him with avant-garde modernist sculptors such as Pablo Picasso, Julio Gonzalez, and David Smith. Steel provided him with the potential for large-scale works which complemented the growing development of local urban architecture, and in so doing, he celebrated the innovations made possible by the rapidly growing local steel industry.